blessing, Heavenly Father, upon this radiant assembly, upon President and Mrs. Trump, upon Vice President Harris, upon the leaders who shine tonight and support us unfailingly. I'm giving a speech. Do you have some thoughts about what I might say tonight? My feelings about what you should say tonight would be best expressed in a monologue from one of my favorite made-for-TV series. Okay, let's hear it. Don't you see, man? We need a woman to represent us. A woman brings more heart, more compassion. And think how smart she must be to become a top contender in a field dominated by men. It's time for a woman, bro. And with this woman, we can fly. What series was that from? Oh, that's from House of Dragons, now streaming on HBO Max. Is there anything that you think that maybe I shouldn't bring up tonight? Um, well, don't lie. Thou shalt not bear false witness to thy neighbor. Indeed, especially thy neighbor's election results. Just so you know, there will be a fact checker there tonight. Oh, that's great. Who? Jesus. And maybe don't say anything negative about Catholics. I would never do that, no matter where I was. That would be like criticizing Detroit in Detroit. Does it bother you that that Trump guy insults you all the time? Because it really bothers my friends and me. Oh, Mary Catherine, it's very important to always remember you should never let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Haters gonna hate, hate, hate. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Good for you, Mary They're Catherine. Ready. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. And okay. also remember one more thing. Don't worry if you make a mistake, because Catholic people are very forgiving. Yeah, and also, one last thing I want to tell you, don't forget to say, Superstar! <laughs> Thank you, Mary Catherine. Thank you, Mamala. Thank you. Always, it's a rule. You gotta go to the dinner. You gotta do it, otherwise, uh, bad things are gonna happen to you from up there. I was... <laughs> you can't do what I just saw on that screen. But uh, my opponent feels like she does not have to be here, which is deeply disrespectful to the event, and in particular to our great Catholic community. Very disrespectful. The two candidates for president are supposed to exchange good-natured barbs. And you know, we get along very well. I didn't like Biden very much, and now I like him quite a bit, you know. It's <laughs> and now I say that she's much worse than him. He was a much better candidate than her, actually. And when we hopefully win, dispose of her, I like her a lot. But right now, I can't stand her. It's true. I can't stand her. If Democrats really wanted to have someone not be with us this evening, they would have just sent Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, Mayor Adams, good luck with everything. They went after you. <laughs> they went after you, Mayor. Yeah, boy, I knew that. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. <laughs> and I actually said, do you mind if I do that? And he said, no, you got to do what you got to do. He's a pro. He's a professional. If the only piece of advice I would have for her in the event that she wins would be not to let her husband, Doug, anywhere near the nannies. Just keep him away. <laughs> That's a nasty one. That's nasty. And Chief Executive Officer Consolidated Edison, Inc. Ken Langone, co-founder of The Home Depot. Robert K. Kraft, founder, chairman, and CEO of The Kraft Group and the foundation to combat all hate. 